What's up, YouTube? So today's video is a little complicated, right? So I'm actually going to do a, a review on the two newest Kobe Bryant Mitchell and S jerseys. So we'll take a look at that. We're going to compare them to the other jerseys that are supposed to represent the same year. See some differences. We're also going to compare them to a Nike authentic jersey that represents this era and kind of mix everything up. All right. So enough of this shit talking. Let's get into it. All right. So we have this jersey that represents the 99-2000 season. You take a look at that. Now, the only reason I really got this jersey is because if you take a look at the Mitchell and Ness website, the purple seemed a little bit different, a little darker as far as the promo photo. So I said, hmm, kind of interesting. Let me see if they finally changed the purple. Of course they did it. <laughs> they got me. Um, but being I'm a Kobe Bryant fan, doesn't really bother me to have another jersey in the collection. We'll take a look at the inside tag. You see that 2020 timestamp. Made in China. Cool. All right. All right. So as we get into this jersey... We have the 2000-2001 finals in yellow. One of my favorite finals runs from Kobe Bryant. Super dominant. Spoke about it before. This and the 2009, probably my two favorite. And then here we have the white stitched purple inverted twill. And the same goes for the eight. Two thousand and one patch, and just so you guys can see, because this tag is everything. When they start making these tags super legit, we'll have some issues. But until then, they never do. So, so here we got it, right? So you have these two jerseys are the newest jerseys from Mitchell and Ness. Now, this one and this one. I've had since 2016. So here's where things get a little weird. All right. You got this style of stitch on the eight. And then on this jersey, you have this style of stitch. Now, this isn't a true double stitch. It's a facade double stitch. And I'll explain why. And I'll show you the differences also. So here you're going to see the yellow stitching. But what they did was they already applied the white layer on the yellow. And then they just stitched the yellow to the jersey. Same here. So they applied the yellow part, the Lakers part, to the white. And then they put the white jersey. And then they put the white Lakers onto the jersey as a full piece. And how you can tell, there's only one stitch there. Right? Now, what's a true double stitched is this. See the yellow and you see the white. Same thing for the number. It's a little dark in here, so I'm sorry. But you see the two outlines and then let's look at the eight here. Shit, hold on. Okay, now we got it. Right? And on the back, it looks double stitched, but eh, technically, listen, they're both the same shit, really, to me. But here's the here's the issue that I have. These are the new one, my Bitchell and S runs. This is the 2016. So we have a double stitch here, and we have a singlet twill with the stitch outline. Same here. We have that, and then we have that. All right, so this year, these represent the same years. So we have the 2000, and then we have the 2000. And same here. We have the Wilt Stripe, by the way. That's what that's for. We have the 99-2000. 99-2000, right? So here's a question I posed, you guys. And I did some research. Um, I tried to gather as much information as I could. There's instances where I've seen a double stitched, 
jersey. So I've been looking up game worn jerseys. What did he actually wear on court? So one thing about Mitchell and S is that they try to mimic the, as best as they can to what the players actually wore on court. So what did he actually wear on court? I have some jerseys when I look at that year that look like this with the single stitched and they look like this. And I'm going to show you guys a bunch of pictures. And then I have some jerseys that look like this, All right? So another jersey that kind of represents that era is the all-star jersey that Mitchell and S did. So you have the 2000 all-star patch. You have your Lakers double stitched. You have your eight double stitched. And as I showed you guys before, this is an actual double stitched jersey, All right? So now I'm gonna bring this guy in. So this is my Shaq from 2001. And just to verify that, we got the Holiday 2001. You got your dry fit. You got your Nike tag information. All right. So just to show you how awesome Mitchell and S does. So you see this type of mesh, this Nike dry fit style mesh. Look how good Mitchell and Ness replicates that. That's A1. You know what I'm saying? Now, as far as the yellows, we don't get the discrepancy as much as we get for the purple. The yellows are pretty similar. And I'm looking at them. I'm giving them the eye test because sometimes the iPhone can saturate and use software to kind of fix colors. Uh, as you see, the purples are different. So... You do see that, and that's what I see as well. Um, that's very accurate, but the yellows are very close. Now, maybe this is a tad yellow, but now we're getting to like, it's not much of a difference. So they do a great job with the yellow. Okay, so now we go to the double stitched. So remember I was telling you earlier what true double stitching looks like? That's what that looks like. So you see the purple and the white, same there, same on the number. So the only one, the only true double stitched Mitchell and S jersey is this one here. Um, so we looked at the mesh, we looked at the purples, we looked at the yellow. Okay, that's what us. So we had the double stitch number here and again, we had the double stitch number here that represents the 99 season. So which one is it? Is it a single twill with the outline? Or is it a double stitch twill with, you know, with against the jersey? That, guys, is what I'm trying to figure out. Comment down below. Let me know. Because, uh... I'm interested. So, like I said, I'm going to show you pictures of uh, some of the stuff I gathered online as much as I can. And hopefully that helps. But, uh, yeah, let's comment down below. Let's see what it looks like. But that's it. You got the Kobe Bryant finals jerseys, the new finals jerseys, everything from that 99 to 2001 era right in front of us. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm out. Later.